Hey everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. It's going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Not much you can say. I just watched Kansas beat Kansas State 74-51. to That score isn't uncommon in the history, the recent history certainly, of this series. It's been a long time since K-State won in Allen Fieldhouse. And this was a great opportunity to do so. Let me explain. Look, we've got a family secret and we don't like to talk about it. Well, there's two. I'll just say them both. One, my dad was born in Oklahoma. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't help that. Two, my brother Mike went to Kansas. Okay, I was like eight years old when he was choosing a college, so I wasn't in on the decision making. I can only assume that Mike couldn't get into K-State, so he had to go to KU. It happens to a lot of kids. They're just not up to snuff for Kansas State University. I get it. Uh, Those kids need a college education too. Mike's a great guy. Uh, and uh, he's not a trash-talking KU fan by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, he tweeted at me this week that, boy, this game's going to be a real barn burner between K-State and KU because KU's not up to KU standards. It's the truth. They're really not the same type of KU team they have been. They're struggling this year. They just got blown out at Tennessee, but I promised him a couple things. I, I said, look, Mike, I think KU will get healthy against the Wildcats, and they did, and I think KU will win by 25. Uh, I exaggerated. They only lost by 23, so I was a little pessimistic about the outcome of the game. But as I watched this unfold, and I watched this K-State team struggle to start both halves, in fact, roughly in the first five minutes of both halves, it totaled up to a 15-point deficit. So you lose by 23, but you give up uh, you know, a 15-point hole with bad starts in both halves. I, I could only think that it, this year's team and last year's team were probably the only K-State teams in the last 25 years or so, maybe even longer than that, that would not have competed or possibly won in this game because KU isn't the typical KU team we've seen. And this group of Wildcats is so young, so inexperienced, and, and so poorly constructed right now for the pandemic or the coaching or whatever reason you want to say. It is what it is. They're just not very good. They even cut down on turnovers. And they still couldn't compete in this game. It's very frustrating. It was an opportunity loss for K-State basketball to win a game in Allen Fieldhouse. Let's hope, let's pray that K-State basketball can gather itself after this mess of a season and make something of the remnants of the team. Um, Because I'm not sure how many players will stick around for more of this. I hope the good ones do.